What up YouTube Nation, this is NYG Jeffy T3285 back with another video. And today I'm going to talk about, real quickly, an offensive lineman that the New York Giants have signed out of Nigeria. His name is Roy Mbatika. If I mispronounce his name, I apologize. He is uh, one of OCU Manora's protégés that he's been working with. He goes a 6'9", 320. He's a former basketball player in Nigeria. Now what this signing could be is it could be somebody like a Sandro Platzgummer. Somebody that we maybe stash away on the practice squad if he shows anything. Stash him away, use him as good offensive line depth. And he's a big guy so he could be somebody we can use as depth at tackle if he finds a way to develop a little bit in camp. Most likely I feel like he's going to be more of a developmental guy if he even is able to make the roster. And we could take all the offensive lineman depth we can get, especially if he's a guy that has a lot of potential, which I believe he does. It's just he needs somebody to help untap that potential out of him. So this is just another good signing. The Giants need as much offensive lineman as they can, especially some depth at the tackle position too, with Andrew Thomas being really the only proven offensive line depth at the offensive tackle position. So... What's the best thing to do is let Roy come into the team, see what he does when he come when the mandatory offseason workouts start out, and then let him see how he does through mini camp, obviously training camp, and also if he's still around on the team, see how he does during the preseason time. Now this could just be a signing where they just hang him around for a little bit, keep him around on the 90-man roster. See how he does, and then he eventually is a guy that could potentially be caught and then put on the practice squad or just be let go all entirely. Or maybe this is a guy with the right type of development, like I mentioned earlier in the video, that the Giants can end up using as a potential depth offensive lineman or as a guy that, who knows, could be maybe, I think he's a little bit too big to be moved to guard, but it could be somebody that's a swing tackle at best. I don't know if he's ever going to be a starting tackle. I doubt it. Uh, I think at best he could be developing into a very good depth offensive lineman, possibly a swing tackle. But yeah, I mean, the New York Giants continue to make really good underrated moves this offseason, especially on the offensive line, not using a whole lot of money, but at the same time making good, got, making good signings on guys that have had either some records of proof in the NFL or they're taking chances on some guys and see what they're going to do. Maybe they can get something, catch lightning on the bottle for them in their next season. So now you add Roy Mbatike up there, and you add him with Jameel Douglas, Macano, Mark Lewinsky, John Feliciano, a returning Corey Cunningham, Max Garcia, including the offensive lineman we have currently on the roster right now, with Shane Lemieux, Nick Gates, Matt Parrott. Ben Bredesen, maybe they decide to bring back uh, Billy Price. They could also decide to bring back Matt Skura if they want to, and that's not even including what they might do in the draft in terms of players they could draft at the right tackle position, at guard, and also what they might do in undrafted free agency because the Giants are probably going to be looking for some more depth at that position. So, I mean, it's a good signing. It doesn't cost anything. It's a low, very, very, very low risk. And as a guy who's been working underneath OCU Minura, who has been working with the international NFL players. And maybe this is a guy that could be something in the future. We'll have to see, but I hope for the best. And at this point, the more offensive line depth you can add to this roster, the better. So if you like what you hear in this video, please hit the like button on the bottom. Subscribe if you haven't already to NYG Jeffy T3285. Let me know what you feel in the comment section about this recent signing. If you think it's going to be anything more than a depth signing. Maybe it could just be a camp body or maybe it could turn into something more. So thank you very much. I appreciate this very much. Have a good rest of your day and let's go Giants.